Hi, thank you for using our Google products template dashboard. This was built using Looker Studio or formerly known as uh, Google Data Studio. My name is Eric Boissonneau. I'm the founder of Systematic, a data consulting company uh, based in Montreal. So the goal of this video is simple. It's just to show you how to use this dashboard and get maximum value out of it. Uh, so once you make a copy of this dashboard, this dashboard is entirely yours. Feel free to rebrand it, change the colors. Uh, it is yours. I'm not asking for any email or anything. Uh, this is just something that we've done so many times for your clients. Um, and since it, it's a very basic dash dashboard using the built-in Looker Studio connectors, uh, there's no there's nothing fancy in the back end for this one um, like we normally would do for for a client so this should be very basic and plug and play um, so let's get started so the first thing you will want to do is go over here more options top right and click make a copy now that you're presented uh, with this pop-up here you're gonna see that um, you have the data source that are connected to it right now. So we have the Google Merchandise Store, uh, Search Console Data, and Google Ads, all Google product. So the first thing you want to do here is when you make a copy, just click this and, and choose your own data source, right? So you, um, make sure you make a copy of this with an account that has access to um, GA4. So yeah. This is for Google Analytics 4, uh, so Universal Analytics won't work with this dashboard. Um, so you just select your own data source, so your own GA4 account, your own Google Search Console, and Google Ad account. The dashboard will still work if you don't have, let's say, a Google Ads account or a Search Console account or a GA4 account, um, but it won't be your data, obviously. Right, so you just click here and make a copy. Right, so that's it. So once you are in your own dashboard, you should be now able to edit. So you could change the name over here of this dashboard, and navigation is is over here. So now let me explain how this dashboard works. So the traffic acquisition, uh, the data source for that is Google Analytics 4. It, it is looking at the last 30 days by default, but you can change that uh, just by changing the default date range over here. Uh, the source, so you have your filters here at the top. So if you want to filter by source, uh, you can, right? You can either like select a source only um, or just deselect the one that you don't want to see there. So I invite you to, if you're really new to Data Studio, there's tons of resources on how to use it um, on YouTube. This this is not what this video is about. It's just to show you around um, in this dashboard. So you have your top filters here. Um, over here you have the page path of your website um, and it just shows the page views and engagement rate for all of those pages. The triangle that you see here is the change over time so it's always comparing against previous period. So if you're looking at last 30 days it means that it, it is comparing to the 30 days prior to those 30 days, right? Um, so that's how it works. If you change to last seven days, it will compare against the seven days before uh, those seven days. Right? Over here you have session by source. And if you look, and if we go in view mode here, we can res reset the filters here. You have this little up and down arrows. So if you click down, now we're filtering by medium. As you can see, um, now it says going from session medium to session campaign and now you're looking at session campaign 
right? Anytime, let's say you want to drill down, but you want to drill down only when the source is Google, you can click here, which would filter the whole dashboard where session source um, equals Google. Same thing as if you were to filter over here. And now you can still filter down and you will only see the breakdown for Google. You can reset your filter over here at the top or this reset here. So let's do that. All right, so anytime you see those arrows, it means you can drill down. So over here you have um, device category, uh, here screen resolution, but you can drill down to browser and operating system. Over here you have country, but you can again drill down and see by, by city and region. All right, so this report here is more about traffic so you get session page views all that but GA4 is mainly based around events um, so over here you have the same filter but it's it's all the events that you have on your website so let's say that you are interested in seeing just one one event um, let's say uh, you want to see add to cart so you would just click here and now you're able to just see everything well all the metrics uh, for add to cart so for example over here you see that add to cart is primarily on desktop 87 percent on desktop which is a slight difference with the overall number of event that you have on the website it's the same thing here so purchase for example, you could filter here and you get also event revenue. Um, so this is all, you, you can always filter like that, like that. You can drill up and down over here. So what it's going to show you, it's, it's page URL. So where basically this event happens. So let's say you filter um, first visit you'd like to see where is this first visit happening most of the time so if you drill down now that we filtered by first visit you would see um, that the big bulk of the first visit are basically on on the home page in this case again you have those real down here you can filter by source and it's always filtering by source by session source in this case so this is very similar all the page are pretty much built on the same kind of template over here we have search console data again you can let's say you'd like to query only where um, you'd like to filter the whole dashboard only when the search query contain uh, Google and you can type Google here and it will filter the whole dashboard and as you can see the queries now it's only the queries uh, with the word um, Google again same thing you could filter where the landing page is a particular landing page so for example um, let's say we filter where the, the query is Google merchand merchandise store um, sometimes the same query will have multiple landing pages so I'm not sure if this is the case for for this one uh, but it might be for your your own website so let's see what it gets us yep so as you can see the same query send people to different landing page so that's why this filter uh, works the way it works right now you can filter for a query and see the specific um, landing page that you get um, from those queries again you have this little breakdown here let's move on to Google Ads alright so uh, over here we have the delivery metrics so impression clicks conversion click through rate conversion rates and ad spend cost per impression cost per click cost per conversion and return on ad spend it is important to note that return on ad spend will only work if you're if you assign a value 
to your conversion events in Google Ads. If you don't, um, this metric won't work. Over here we have KPIs over time and you ha we have this little optional metrics uh, which is not like the drill up and down, it is allowing you to choose which metrics you'd like to see over time. So for example, right now it is looking at impression, but let's say we are interested in looking at clicks, conversions, or even a combina combination of the two, right? Again, anytime we can reset the filter. I think we have the optional metric in the KPIs over time over here as well. Yes, we have impression, clicks, and click through rate. Over here, you can look at your performance for per campaign, and we could drill. Actually, I'm going to change that, but it, it, it is campaign, and then you would drill, drill down to ad group. All right, and now you get your return on ad spend per ad group, which is very useful. And over here you have kind of a breakdown per device category. So that's pretty much how this dashboard works. Obviously, this is a free template. It could be really, uh, it, it could be improved. Uh, let's say, like we we could. There's always ways to dig even deeper in the data, but this should be a very good starting point. Um, for you or if you have a marketing agency you would be able to offer that to all of your clients and it, it, it has a pretty um, slick design so and it's easily uh, rebrandable right you, you just have to change the logo here at the top so that's about it um, for this dashboard if you'd like to add more data source um, dig deeper in the data please reach out um, you have all the information all of the service that we do here uh, we mainly build data pipelines in BigQuery and all of that um, so any question you might have uh, you can book a free call with me or or just reach out reach out them um, by email um, at system Eric at systematic dot CA all right I hope this was helpful Enjoy this free template, and um, yeah, happy to share. All right, cheers.